All right, we'll put that guy there, and we'll put that guy there. And we'll do our best to do the strategy we've been doing, do the build we've been doing. Her bedroom at her dad has a TV, and she shares it with her. He shares it with her. her, her older, her, he has an older sister who screams and stays up until 2 a.m. and sleeps until noon. And her dad and I don't have a stellar co-parent relationship. He blames me for losing custody, but in reality, he let her insurance lapse three times. And she developed stage and bed sores in his watch due to neglect. Yeah, that doesn't seem very great. Uh, daughter told him she takes her sleep uh, gummies at night at mommy's, and then she can sleep again. He called me, screaming that I have no right to drug his child. I do. I said I do since I have legal custody, and it was in her best interest. He opened a CPS case against me and says it's making a play for legal custody. It doesn't want physical or even more visitation. Let's see. Just the right thing to make decisions I'll pay for. He's behind in over $8,000 in payments and wants to keep it that way. I followed the pediatrician and gave an o OTC vitamin. Am I the asshole? Yeah, obviously, you're not the asshole. Holy shit. But it, it's, it's like at the point where it's like, I, it makes me even more like annoyed about the censorious title because you're not the asshole. You know you're not the asshole. Saying the line, am I the asshole for drugging my child is obviously playing to the crowd. Um, you're not drugging the child. Your daughter has sleep issues. You're looking out for her health. Um, and the dad is, I don't even, the dad's being father of the year, you know, let's put it that way. I think that's the joke, right? When a parent is obviously not being a good parent, you make the joke parent of the year. So, uh, dad's, dad's the asshole, you're not the asshole. The, the title, the title is so stupid, it's censorious, but it's because you know you're in the right. So, let's see. Um, at least with the t context that we have, with the, the, the how the story developed further. Actually, let, and let's see, what do the comments say? It's literally just melatonin. It's safe. They have kids' melatonin. The doctor recommended it. The father is crazy to think he would win custody. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. The dad gave the kid bed sores, and he has the audacity to blame for loss of custody. Yeah, no, that is that is a uh, a hole. If the pediatrician told her to do, it's not wrong at all. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like, I mean, that's definitely the thing, right? I mean, it's not even like the mom is playing, you know, home health nurse. It's like prescribed by the doctor. <laughs> like, please understand melatonin isn't a drug. We make it natural. Some don't make enough. Um, yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, we have an unhinged Am I the Asshole story. Let's see. Also, Am I the Dummy? Because I am forgetting to put monkeys down where they need to go. Okay. So, I love how, by the way, if you click on this guy, it turns him around. It's kind of interesting. Love that. Let's make him look that way. There you go. Alright. So, without uh, further ado... One of the... Oh, we need to put down, of course, one of these puppies. And then we need to get up to 2,000. And then... Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do. All right. Um, please use this comment for part two. Oh no, there's a part two? Oh no. Never mind. I, I don't want to be... Let's see. Is there a part two in this story? In this... Let's see. Um, am I the asshole for telling my parents that either I move out or they do something about my brother? Plus three updates included. Or is... Please tell me that's all in the same video. Please. Let's see. Alright, so dude, dude does not like his brother. Alright. Bro brother's getting into some stuff. What's going on there? Um, let's see. Dude has a bunch of awards, too. Good lord. I, 25 male, live with my parents in a very expensive city. We stay in a three-bedroom high-rise 
my mom recently decided she wanted to move to the city because she was tired of living in the country, and I agreed with them because the city had many software engineering jobs, and I was able to get a high-paying job making six figures. My mom, dad, school, or teachers, our school teachers, and they're combined, they may combine just a little under what I make. My sister Mary... I, uh... So the words are flashing across the screen really fast. I can't, I can't read enough quickly. Okay. I'm gonna read a new one. I'm gonna read a new story. Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend that I told her so after one of her male friends tried to get with her? What are the comments? Uh, let's see. Um, well, I, I'm gonna read the comments first because this is a this is an issue of the sexes, and I want to know how to be on the right side of history because holy shit, sometimes these can get a little out of control. Um, he's 100 right, and honestly, it's extreme toxic for her not to acknowledge that he warned her. All right, let's see. Let's. Oh yeah, spike of pulse. Oh no, we need we need these guys to be. Oh goodness. Okay. We need these guys to do. Okay. My girlfriend and I have been together for about a year now. My girlfriend, yeah, that's usually when bad shit starts to happen. My girlfriend has more than a few guy friends, and I'm not one of those guys that thinks that men and women can't be friends. However, with two of these guys, it's very clear that they want more than just friendship with her. If I, if I can notice just by the weird energy they try to exude when I'm present, she should be able to tell as well, right? Wrong. Anytime I pointed this out, she gets upset with me, and she tells me that I'm being jealous and reading into things that aren't there. I, when I try to argue back that I'm just letting her know as a guy, I could probably tell much better than she could, since women tend to be a little slow <laughs> in regarding things like this. Oh my, oh my. So two nights ago, she was hanging out with her friends. Yeah, I bet she was. Her guy friends! They were making tortillas. Nah, they were, they were making biscuits, a la cat style. If you catch my drift. Let's see. Um, no, nah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just taking the piss. She was hanging with her friends, and this guy was present. And from what she told me, they were all drinking. And she, he said some things that that implied that he wanted to be with her. She, she was made very uncomfortable by this, and the night ended shortly afterwards. Fast forward to yesterday morning, she got a series of texts apologizing for what he said, and then backpedaling and saying he would treat her so much better than me. And she's wasting her time with me. Oh, that's not backpedaling. What do you mean? That's doubling down. That's not backpedaling. That's... The backpedaling was the apologizing. Right? Like, doubling down is when you're like, No, but you should seriously come uh, try out this dick for a change. Like, that's doubling down if you're doing that. Oh, man. Let's see. Um, and, of course, she said no and was upset with him. After she told me, I just read the text and simply said, Wow. Uh, who could have seen this coming? <laughs> a bit sarcastically. That this set her off and she got mad. She said that I was being such a huge asshole, asshole to her, and she had no way of seeing this coming. And she's been pissed at me ever since. Alright, so hang on. It, is she actually going to get with him now? The guy that was trying to mac on her? Because what are you doing being mad at the guy that you're with and loves you and was telling you... I mean, like, this mad, too. Not just a little annoyed. She said that the GF now sees her boyfriend as a huge asshole. I get being a little annoyed. Oh, whatever. I'll oh, fuck off, Jared. Okay, whatever. You know, kind of kind of being put in your place a little bit. And then just being like, uh, how's about I beat you in some League of Legends or some shit? I don't know. Or, like, fucking Tekken Street Fighter. But she said huge asshole and that she's been pissed at him ever since? Is this a ploy? Is she secretly trying to get with the guy that is macking on her? That 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 feels so suspicious to me. Why are you that mad? Like I get being annoyed and being like, you know what, I wanna I wanna kick your ass in fucking ping pong or something. But like This is so strange. That's such a strange story. Um not the asshole, also dump her. She invalidates her feelings, knowing damn well that those guys were into her and only string stringing along a friendship in hopes of thing. Not the a yeah. The way I'd be running around the room saying I told you so, not the asshole, I'd be la laughing my ass off. 
Not the asshole, but dude was sassy for real. Um... I don't know. Um... Well, but he told her before, didn't he? No, you told her and she decided not to listen and he told her so. He got the correct answer, but the work to get there was flawed. Um... I guess. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Sure. Let's see. Um... Anyway. Yeah, I don't know, I guess, like, he definitely... I don't know, did, did he did he do wrong work to get there? Um... I mean, he was obviously, he was obviously being a little thorny. You know, he, he had he had his own, he had his own, he had his own rockets loaded, ready to go. He was, he was coming in a little hot, I guess. He was def- oh. Oh, what was that? Hey, hey buddy, how's it going, Mr. Monkey Man? Yeah, man. Alright, well. Thanks for tuning in to Bloons Heart Defense 6. When we return, I'll fart. <laughs> Stinky.